It becomes hard to interpret, but sometimes it's useful to in certain signal processing applications. Start we wave our hands, interpret, and then we go on. And you can even have overlapping things, so author number two is sort of participating in two what we call components, two groups. So that's the basic idea, but what if we want to go to 3D? So the typical thing, we had movies and users before, you can think generally of objects and measurements, and then you have a third dimension, which is scenarios. I'll focus on 3D today. There's no reason you have to stop at three. You can have four dimensions, five dimensions, six dimensions. There are problems, it's kind of weird problems with a thousand dimensions. So any number of dimensions will be fine. And I should say that the idea of looking at three-way data dates back to 1952. The tools that were much later in coming. So, the idea of what I do now, is sort of saw this in Stefan's talk, is multi-way factorization. And I'll focus on one that's my favorite, which is the candidate pair fact, sometimes called canonical polyadic, or the CP model. And here, it's the same idea. We want to take our data and write it as three-way products of vectors. So now at A, B, we've added a C. And so the IJK component of this guy will take the ith entry of A times